This is part three, the potential for foreign interference. The UN came up with the <clears throat> sustainable development goals, right? And legal identity was recognized as an essential element of development by the United Nations. And the provision of universal legal identity, including through birth registration, was set as a goal. And they want to achieve it by 2030 to have a universal legal identity. The United Nations. I cannot say that it's a new world order, but I can say that something universal is coming into play. And as always, they use rosy words to defend it. The World Bank has what they call an identification for development initiative. And that identification for development initiative it has donors and guess who are the donors bill and melinda gates foundation and omida network so the founder of microsoft and the founder of ebay they are funding this identification universal identification idea through the world bank yes Idimia, it won the uh, Idimia is a company. It won the three billion contract, right? I think to provide kits for this system. It was a merger between OT and Morpho. OT Morpho, the guys who supplied the IBC with 3.8 billion Kims kits. So we have the United Nations at the top. Then we have the World Bank pushing this thing, and behind the World Bank we have Bill and Melinda Gates. And we have the founder of eBay. Basically, we have the rich trying to fund this thing. And then at our level, we have supply to a contract OT Morpho, the guys we had issues with during the last election. And then we have MasterCard, which is an American company. It blocked all payments to Wikipedia in 2010. It said that Wikipedia was engaging in legal activity. Wasn't Wikipedia exposing illegal activity? In 2014, there was an agreement between MasterCard and the Nigerian government. They would give Nigerians a new ID, and that ID would bear the MasterCard logo. It will contain the personal data of Nigerians, and it will also be a payment card. And Nigerians were up in arms against that that their ID, their national identity system, it would have the logo of a foreign company. And this company, it was banning, it was preventing services from other companies based on its own ideas. For example, it suspended servicing Russian banks in 2014 after the US issued sanctions against the Russian government. <coughs> so what happens when the US has a problem against you guys? And the person who is supporting that identification system is from the US and has a history of supporting US agendas. Remember Gaddafi? Remember Patrick Lumumba? What happened to them? So India have a similar system. It's called uh, ADA. Uh, it's a foundational system. It's not a functional system. That means that uh, a foundational system, it means that Having the number does not give you any rights, but when different businesses, uh, bureaus, or yes, link their services to that number, then it becomes a foundation for you receiving those services. So India already have it. And government payments will be made through it. So there's a system going on in Nigeria. There's a system going on in India. And now we have a system building up in Kenya. We have the UN at the top of it supporting this system. We have the World Bank being supported by Bill and Melinda Gates and by billionaires basically pushing the system. So what does it lead to in the end? Anyway, I want to give this an example. China spied on the African Union headquarters for five years without anybody knowing. 
how did it do that it paid for the computer network for the for the african union right and it built that computer network beware of greeks bearing gifts so sometime in january right i think last year technicians noticed that something was amiss between midnight and 2 a.m every night with that system paid and built for by the chinese more specifically there was a peak in data usage even though the building was empty they discovered that data from the au was being copied to chinese servers in shanghai at that time so somebody can actually move into a system and spy on it for so long and nobody would notice they're doing that the chinese did that to the au can somebody do that to our system to this identification system that you're bringing up and can they do it for so long without anybody knowing it the question is is there a market for that data besides the governments or basically just for the government there was a site hacked in uh, october 2017 my heritage site 92 million users lost their yes email addresses and uh, passwords that company was founded in israel in 2003 so an israeli company is being hacked we have examples of hacking kenya defense forces ministry of foreign affairs if me systems but you still want a centralized system even though china has proved that it can really work well with a centralized system stealing data from africans even though we still know that uh, mastercard and other companies they still promote the agenda of their home uh, countries remember gaddafi remember lumumba so anyway, another company had 147 people, uh, their accounts hacked in 2017, Equifax. Another company, Starwood, had 500 million people hacked in 2017. Yahoo had 3 billion accounts hacked in 2013. So people can actually hack. They actually want to hack. And when they hack, they don't say it openly. Like China kept quiet for five years. We had to discover it. And this one gives me an example. WhatsApp, it's not making profits. Founded in 2009, but somebody bought it for 19 billion because he saw the potential in it. Twitter barely makes profit. Founded in 2006, made profit in 2012. After 12 years, someone saw the potential in them. Snakes in the desert, what they do is that they. Uh, get a hole in the desert they make a hole in the desert and they put sand over themselves and they hide and even spiders do that in the desert and they wait for their prey and when their prey catch comes it catches them and that is what will happen with our data these guys will take it even though we don't have like we don't have an idea of how valuable it is the guys never had an idea of how you couldn't put an assigned value to WhatsApp, but somebody saw some value in it. And these guys will take that data and they will keep it and they will use it silently. Or they will wait for their chance to pounce and use that data well. Because we have centralized it for them. We have made it easy for them to prey on that data. Easy for them to use us.